everybody, it's Crazy Van Gogh Shine. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we're going to be watching the... What episode is it? It's the 11th episode of Outlander, Season 5. We're nearing the end. We have one more episode left. This is the second last episode, of course. Um, and I'm very excited. I'm a bit nervous about what's going to happen because I have no idea what happens from here. I had an idea, but now that people have been saying that the Stephen Bonnet stuff has happened a lot earlier than they expected, um, I'm kind of surprised as well that the writers would do this. Um, I think, like, people have said that this is Diana's episode, like, the writer, she's obviously written the script for this one, so I'm excited to see what happens. Um, and people have said usually her episodes are quite emotional. I can't remember what other episodes she's written, if you guys want to say in the comments below. I don't mind at all. Um, but yeah, let's just jump straight into this, because, again, I have no idea, and I'm excited to see what happens. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, video games, and movies. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh god. Is it a little girl? Oh. Buzzing. Really? Already? Well then, Mr. Fraser. Oh God, these idiots. I hope so, Mr. Brent. Sure, it was a ballpoint pen. Mmm. A double pen. <laughs> From the future. Is he like his own person now? Kind of like what they did in Jamaica, or was that different? So you've been a free man all this time. Oh! I chose not to leave. Oh! Wait, so does he love her? Because I think a lot of us were thinking like maybe he actually does love her. I think to a certain degree he does. Um, but even so, like, I think, like, he was, like, really supportive of the whole murder thing, but, you know, like, obviously after he died, he probably was, like, you know, not the fact that, you know, he wanted to replace him in any way or anything, but more, like, wanted to support, um, Jocasta during that time and stuff, and, you know, he, sh it seemed like he was a big support. The poor thing, like, she went through so much pain, you know, like, losing, like, another love of her life, so, you know, that was really sad, and... Yeah, he's n Ulysses has been nothing but kind, so I'm kind of excited to see what happens, but um, if there is a romance, I don't think there is, but obviously he does care about her a lot. But um, yeah, let's see what happens. <gasps> yeah, John! I wasn't expecting you. Friend! Is she okay? Oh, oh! I want a big hug like that. Your special perfume. You wanted me. Fast without touching you. I'm sorry, Sasanay. Oh, he said sorry. Right. You were tired. It's okay. Oh my God! He said sorry. It's your brother. God damn, he's telling her! As a groom, I wanted you to get those. More of your blood in the world than me and your mother. Or maybe you could look for him. After your 
mother left me with you in her belly. Hmm. I never thought I'd see you. But I can't you were there. You have made my life whole. Aww. Finally, this is the pausing. <sighs> this is the scenes we've all wanted to see for so bloody long. Because, yeah, I think this is one of the complaints I was going to make if nothing happened, but luckily it did. Um, at the end of, like, next week, because, you know, I always do, like, a season kind of, like, overview in the last episode. But, yeah, this, like, season, it's failed to kind of touch upon the really apparent strong relationship between Brianna and Jamie. And that's something I've been really disappointed in because, you know, he's he wants revenge for his daughter. He wants to kind of, like, you know, reclaim that honour that not only she lost, but, you know, he lost as well when he first came across Bonnet. Um, <laughs> but even just overall, there hasn't been scenes between Jamie and Brianna. And that's been, yeah, really disappointing because the only scene, in all honesty, that we had just between them was at the beginning of the season in episode one when she got married. Because even, like, in episode one, apparently their relationship had healed. And I was like, time gap, time space continuum broken, like it's weird because they were suddenly on good terms again and I was like this shouldn't be happening because it, they, they, yeah, like the literally last season they ended in like a really um, touchy position because of everything that had happened so I was like oh in this season they're gonna character develop in it and they're gonna become that really close father-daughter relationship again so it's kind of disappointing to see like at the very end of the season we're seeing these sort of scenes um especially because he's saying like you know i'm gonna miss you blah 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 like yeah i wish there was more scenes but anyway dr rawlings says that if you don't lie with the man two weeks before your courses then you won't come to be with child claire said so in the newspaper Sure, the goodbye between Brianna, Roger, and like Jamie and Claire. I have mixed feelings about that. I'll talk about it after. Oh shit! The moment has come. Oh god. Oh, they went through. Where did they go? Do they go further into the past? Oh! Fergus, please stop! What was that? actually the worst thing. Oof. Powerful. I'm getting chills. Are you kidding? We're watching the- I don't care, we're watching the preview. Let's watch it. I've lived through war. Ooh. Lost much. Oh! Wait, 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 I did not say that properly. What's going on? Shit, that's it. Oh, guys! Shit! Oh my god! <gasps> Wait! Yeah, because. 
because, yeah, because it has to be because of the stuff she was printing. Yeah, so these things, oh, uh, this is all, this is why all that future stuff was like being quoted. Um, oh, so all her stuff. No, I don't want her to die. And knowing Outlander, they're going to leave it on a cliffhanger whether she's dead or not. Oh, because didn't this happen in season three at the very end where she apparently died and then she came back to life? Oh, God, I swear. If she dies, I'm going to be mad. The book readers are literally the only one who knows what's going to happen. The, we don't know what's going to happen. The people who haven't read it. Oh, I'm stressing. Why do you do this? Literally after Star Wars, this is the thing I've been stressing about. Like, oh. Why? Okay. So let's start off. This was a pretty long episode. Like, and what's happening to Brianna and Roger? Did they end up in the future or did they end up in the past? Because they didn't look like they, like, were too happy about where they ended up. So we're going to find that out probably in the next episode, maybe. Um, goddamn. Uh, I'm, yeah, like, I'm worried about Claire, whether they're gonna think she's like a witch or like, you know, because she's a woman and she's saying, you know, under the, like, the pseudo, pseudo name? I think that's what you, what you call it? Like, the fake name you use sometimes in journalism and writing and stuff? Oh my god. <sighs> I'm not okay. Okay, let's just rephrase and go back to the beginning of this episode. Okay, overall this episode was okay, but I am a little disappointed because I felt like I don't know, like, there wasn't much of a goodbye between Jamie, Claire, and then Brianna and Roger. Like, I feel like I was really disappointed. Like, I was getting emotional, you know, like, when Brianna and Claire hugged. But I thought that they would, like, properly say goodbye instead of just showing, like, you know, them hugging and stuff like that. I was disappointed by that. Because even, again, they didn't even show Brianna saying goodbye to Jamie. Like, I get there's a big connection between Claire and Brianna, but, you know, that's still his daughter. And they've been in each other's lives for like a couple of years now, in the past. So that's why I'm a little bit confused and I'm just like, what? Um, so that's a, that was really disappointing. And again, like I wish that there were more scenes between Jamie and Brianna. I'm going to talk about this more next episode, obviously when the season ends. But that's a big disappointment that there hasn't been much scenes between Brianna and Jamie. Um, Obviously that's due to the writers and maybe including like the rest of the um, big producers who are on this, including um, Sam and Katrina. I'm trying to think what else happened. Oh, those two brothers are slimy gits. I swear to God, I hate them so, so much. Um, every time I see them and for doing that to his wife, that's so sad. But then the music that played, and this is the thing, Bear McCurry, I love him so much. He's one of the best like music makers of this generation one of the best and he's worked like with marvel and one of my favorite video games god of war and you know he's obviously working with outlander now and the music in that oh like you knew something bad was gonna happen like oh that was like freaky um but yeah coming in and grabbing claire i do not approve um god damn i'm yeah oh Oh, uh, and then the little kid telling Fergus, like, the bad men took Granny away. Don't do that to me. That's just, like, horror movie stuff. Ugh. But, <laughs> um, oh, but overall, it was an okay episode, but I did feel like it was a little bit all over the place. I love seeing John, but it just seemed very, like, random to put him in, but it seems obvious why, because, you know, they wanted to bring William or Willie up. I can't remember his name. You guys can correct me. But, um, yeah, William, I think it was. Like, that's his, like, real name. Um, but I'm glad they brought him up, because obviously they didn't bring him up again this season until now. So I was really interested. And it's kind of nice to see him growing up and stuff. I wonder if he's changed. He was quite childish last season. Um, so that'll be interesting to see, like, if they bring him in either next season or whenever. Because you guys have said that they have confirmed for season 6, but not season 7. I wonder why. Um, I think they might be trying to finish it in season 6, maybe, guys. Maybe season 6 is our final one. I'm not... Don't hate me. I'm just saying maybe that's the reason. But, anyway. So, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the episode for Outlander Season 5, Episode 11. Um, I still... Yeah. I mean, overall, again, it was a bit of a messy episode. And I, in a way, I am a little bit disappointed with the fact that, you know, they did say that, you know, Brianna and J Roger and, you know, Jeremiah were leaving. But 
I'm a little bit disappointed with how it was done because I really expected like a big goodbye from you know all of them in a like a in a moment like but it didn't happen so I was a bit disappointed by that I really wanted like a really nice goodbye and yeah but that last scene oh and then just like Jamie screaming oh I would have liked a close-up of him like shouting at the top of his lungs like that would have been nice like I get what they were trying to do with the scenery but if he had just yelled in just like a full close-up that would have been that would have been powerful as well but oh well yeah, I mean, leave your comments below. Remember, conversation is open. I love talking to you, Outlander fans. Um, so yeah, just remember, um, be kind to everyone. And you know, because I did see a little bit of a thing happen in one of the comments section. I was like, I'm not getting involved. <laughs> but um, yeah, please leave your comments down below and let me know like what your thoughts and you know maybe hints of what's gonna happen. But don't spoil it for me, please. But you know, hit me in it. Hit me in it. <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Finger out. Woo!